there were some OG comedians that mm -hmm. were saying things about you. Mm -hmm. You picked up, hey, bro, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, I called. I called Faison Love. I was like, hey, man. This is Why, what is it with Faison? Why he in it with everybody? I think Faison trying to, I think he don't figure it out the internet. He, he trying to get his name out there, huh? He trying to get his name. But dealing with Wayne, he don't know you dealing with the wrong one because people knew me. Right. Like, he was talking about my special trash, but he don't know. He think I just started this. Man, I, them jokes, so I'd been, I know them jokes were hitting because I don't took it around the world and toured it. Right. When you do a special, he should know this. They ain't no loud tracking my special. Right. They really laughing that hard. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They laughing so consistent, it was, they try to, because, you know, you can't laugh. You, they can't laugh and you talk at the same time. Right. So you got to try to, and my comedy is I'll beat. So he ain't know them. The problem was all my shows is da -da -da -da, them jokes is I already tested. But he thinks Wayne, he's he trying to get in the loop, but he ain't got enough information. He don't know what's going on in the loop. So he trying to get hot, but he ain't got his information right. So he sounds stupid. But why does he care? He ain't paying for a concert ticket. He, he don't have to man, listen to you. He ain't up, man. If I had his career, I'd cry. <laughs> if I've been doing comedy, comedy like a woman. Right. It don't want you. Right. If you've been doing that that long, bro, it don't like you, dog. <laughs> if your biggest thing is an elf suit, <laughs> and you bragging about being in these people elf suit. Well, I mean, he what I mean, he what he did play worm. I mean, he did play Big Perm. Listen to that. Big Perm. If you a grown man and you still uh, graduating, I mean, um, bragging about a big worm, big, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever. Bro, I've been in the game a few years. Yeah. I don't rent it up, and I got my audience. Right. And I'm good. And you, and I feel bad for him. Come like, man, bro, you ain't got to do that. Cause I show you the game. Right. I I show you the game. You know what I'm saying? Comedian, every comedian I get around, listen, man. You phase on love. Get on here and do this and that. Start doing skits and this. I'm gonna show you the game. But you don't got to. He he. He's when, trying to bad by. But you. I don't get mad because at the end of the day, when you up like this, and you get so much love, the hate got to come with it. Okay. The hate got to come with it. But now you just. Okay, I'm you learning. Look, you you looking you looking like a fool. Yeah, because you don't got the inform you don't got no information, and now you sounding stupid, man. Like, bro, you just ain't you just ain't good. You just anytime you've been doing this this long, bro, you you ain't good. Right. Hey, what's up, y'all? So there you have it, Country Wayne. He just dissed Face on Love, and he's basically saying that Face on Love is a comedian hack. He's stupid. He doesn't know what's hot today. He basically just steals jokes from other comedians. And uh, as you may know, Face of Love, he just went on uh, Cam Capone's podcast, Heap of Viral's podcast. He is, he's a regular guest at DJ Vlad's podcast. And uh, he's been saying a lot of things, uh, a lot of things about Tupac, what went on behind the scenes. And uh, he said about a lot of things about comedians and this them. And uh, it's just natural that comedians can uh, stand up for themselves. So uh, I want to know what y'all think about this. Do you agree with Counterway that Face and Love is stupid, is a comedian hack?